So today we're going to deep dive into the engine side of things at Housemark. We have a guy behind the tech who's going to tell us all this crazy lingo that none of us will understand. But I'll try to make sure that we translate it a little bit to the, the layman's terms. Basically, fluids, water simulation tech, and then overall what it means to have a voxel engine and how we render that whole thing. Let's go talk a bit more with our main man, the tech guy. So. Uh, the engine is a voxel-based engine, and it's uh, more or less based on Resogun, yeah. but we're doing something different now. So what's the, what's the difference from, from that engine to the current one? Yeah, so when we started making this game, so we wanted to take the voxel look out of the Resogun, and, but we wanted to push it more or, or advance that. In the Resogun, our bottleneck was the amount of vertices and the mm. amount of geometry that we render to the screen. So we wanted to get rid of that. So we, we still have the voxel world in behind the scenes, but we render it without geometry. We start from the screen and treat it as a grid of right. pixels. So every pixel is a part of the grid. Yeah, and then, and then through each pixel, we start marching array forward until we hit. Until it hits something and then it returns that texture, color, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it is. the material properties and so on. But it's actually quite fast compared to the fact that you would be rendering like tiny, tiny cubes or right. a lot of geometry, which are actually like might be only cover a few pixels on the screen. Okay, so it's actually fairly good in terms of the performance. performance. Um, another thing you've been working on a lot is the the water tech. Mm. So we have Please, yeah. it's it's kind of a side thing, but we wanted to make a really cool water tech. Uh, how is it different from a lot of uh, other? Um, fluid simulations, if you will. Well, actually, the fluid simulation is, of course, something. It has a feedback to the particle system, mm. for example. And the gameplay events can affect the fluid simulation, too. So any, anything you shoot over the water, or if particles drop into the water, that makes ripples and yeah, waves. Those are good examples. Okay. Explosions, for example. Explosions add forces to the simulation. They push the water surface down and then it generates waves. Okay. If, for example, if I would be one of the enemies yeah. in the game, you could you could make me look like a waterfall. Yeah. So all my movement and mm. facial animations, mm. everything mm. Yeah, translates if, directly. If someone, like shoot you. I can explode create, like water. Create, create <laughs> like a water ripples. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we like to do a lot of explosions and cool things. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and apparently, so the water is interactive. Uh, the particles are interactive with shadows and physics and everything, and those things work together too. So, yeah, yeah. so basically everything is uh, covered by um, this kind of... Um, yeah, we use, use a lot of particles. A lot of particles, yeah. yeah. A lot of what you see in the, on the screen is actually made of particles. Right, right. For exactly. example, to the fluid surface, we can emit some particles. For example, if the wave, wave is high enough, or moves like uh, high enough velocity, yeah. we can spawn some particles on top of for example, the waves, mm. so you can have like foam on top of the water, or exactly, or exactly. you can make some lava, lava like uh, like surface patterns. Right. But then those particles in turn can affect the simulation also. They can like add forces to. Okay. So let me get this straight again. So let's say we have a flow of lava, yeah. and you can add kind of this uh, cooled lava on top of it, which yeah. is uh, let's say more darker. Yeah. And then once you get that cooled lava on it that actually becomes a physical object that then makes the lava move away from it, for example. You could do that, yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah. okay, sorry. <laughs> but this is interesting, and we're gonna have some cool examples. I think the sad part is that the game is so fast, so you'll not see everything. And in the end, this makes up the world, and it's it's all in the details, right? Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful hearing this. Uh, thanks, Antti. Thank you. Um, sounds like a very cool tech showcase. Sure. So there you have it, a lot of really cool, geeky tech stuff. Uh, honestly, take the game next Machina when it comes out on June 20th, and then just deep dive and look into it, pause the game, and just enjoy all that uh, detail that we've been able to create in the background. Because honestly, you won't notice it if you just play the game. <laughs>